Welcome back, Rankers. So, um, what's been going on with Google? The Penguin 4.0 update. Uh, I think it's still going on. Uh, there's some stuff over the weekend. You may have read some reports over the weekend where there were claims that say that Google Penguin had finished rolling out. Google didn't actually say that on Twitter. They said that anybody who had penalties from previous Penguins should now be okay. Um, we've still seen over the last <clears throat> few days things still bouncing around a lot, especially in the really competitive areas. Now, maybe that's the new norm of things bouncing around in competitive spaces, but certainly sites on page one Monday and then not the next and then coming back the following day. So that's usually, um, in my experience anyway, over the years is a Google update still completing, not finished. All the data centers haven't got um, the latest information. However, we've found something else that's going quite oddly. So we found DNS issues in Google Search Console on a couple of clients. And if you don't know what a DNS issue is, if you go into your crawl error section on Google Search Console, uh, and you will see something like site errors is always at the top and you'll see a tab that says DNS. Now if you've got DNS issues they will be right in front of your face right there. Uh, now we've got two clients that developed and that, that in and of itself is unusual because in all the years that I've had access to Google Search Console before that Webmaster Tools I've only ever seen DNS issues happen once and I get two sites on the same day, totally unrelated, one's a .com, the other one's a .com.au, one's hosted in the US, the one's, another one's hosted uh, down in Noble Park, actually, just around the corner. And so the DNS stuff is totally separate. We've done all the DNS checks. There are no problems. Uh, the problem with this particular error, though, in Google Search Console is that Google's saying it can't actually see the site. It is actually saying the site is unreachable. This is two of the sites that we've got access to the data with. Now you can see here on the 10th, the 8th, or oh, sorry, 8th of October, I hate reverse dates, America. Uh, on the 8th of the 10th, the crawl rate dropped to a zero. And that's because for both of these sites, Google thinks they're unreachable. Now, here's the interesting thing. They're not unreachable because we can go to them. Screaming Frog can go to them. We've mimicked the Google user agent and gone to them. We have used the Google page speed tool and fetched the pages. I've used structured data testing tool and fetched the page. So we've used all these Google tools that can actually fetch the pages, but Google is still reporting, you know, as recently as five minutes ago, that they are temporarily unreachable. So if I just fetch this one, regardless of the bot that we're using, they are temporarily unreachable. So we'll have a look at this one. This is a blogger's site, not another slipperydip.com. And you can see here, fetch, boom, temporarily unreachable. And, and this says there was a render requested which there wasn't because <laughs> I couldn't reach it I just fetched it and you can see here it's the uh, a few hours ago that I did it but um, there is a problem with Google search console now you might say Jim why don't you speak to Google well I did and Google's not yet well certainly uh, Gary Ilias and John Mueller uh, have not actually seen this particular area Error. He's saying, I'm sure lots of people have crawl DNS errors. Errors aren't bad, sometimes one off, sometimes avoidable. These are bad um, because we can't fetch any pages for these clients and their rankings have actually started to drop um, over the last couple of days. So if you have this issue, we've tried a couple of different fixes. And incidentally, I spoke to someone else, of course, I Googled the problem and found, let's bring up this lady here. I found that Kathy also had the problem. Now, Kathy 
is an Australian. And you can see here that uh, on or around October the 8th, same problem. Now, I'd never met Kathy before. So I rang Kathy and I said to her, what did you do to fix the problem? Do you still have the problem? She said, well, what we did uh, was actually move the whole site to the root domain and remove the www's. That's a hell of a fix. Now, in DNS terms, that would suggest that maybe your A record or your C name or something like that is incorrect because the root domain works, but the um, the subdomain of dub 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 doesn't. Well, no, we've checked all those things. It's not those things either. Uh, but Google Search Console seems to be having a problem with it. The other thing that Kathy tried, and thank you, Kathy, for taking the time to talk to me this morning, was she tried actually manually entering the uh, Googlebot name into the robots.txt file. So rather than just say user agent wildcard, she actually put in user agent colon Googlebot, user agent um, you know, uh, smartphone bot, whatever, whatever the bot's name was, ads bot, whatever. And she found that that started to work. Now, because Kathy was having issues, and incidentally, Kathy runs a site called uh, babygiftbox.com.au, and Kathy you know, does Google Shopping, and she was having problems getting her merchant feed to synchronize with Google AdWords because the Google, for some reason, was seeing it as temporarily unreachable, and none of these sites actually are. So one fix, if you have this problem, is actually to move domains, and that's just such a, such a ridiculous fix, really, uh, because it does look like the Google Search Console is having an issue, or something with Google is having an issue. I can't confirm that yet, and Google's denying it, so I'm left out on a limb, but when you get three sites that we can look at the data, and we can say, without a doubt, it all happened on the same date, and they all have the same issues. So, and none of them actually have those issues in the real world. And when I was talking to Kathy, I said, did you, Changing into your hosting. She said, no, I spoke to my hosting company. I spoke to the people who handled the DNS. I spoke to everybody. I spoke to my developer. No one had changed anything. And these are all on different platforms too. Um, so if you've got the problem, please let us know because we'd like to find out more about it. And if I find a fix in the meantime, I will let you all know. So watch this space. Incidentally, uh, for bloggers who have been following this, we now have uh, the Bloggers SEO Support Group now open on Facebook. So if you are a blogger and you're on WordPress, then uh, head across to uh, Bloggers SEO Support Group. Just go to bloggersseo.com, you'll find the link to the support group there. And we'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.